Hello, everybody. It's Anthony Brogdon, and uh, I'm coming at you talking about mentorship because I believe it's the answer to helping uh, uh, make the community in general better. Uh, there's probably more better words, uh, more effective words, and she can she can she can use those. Uh, but I have a lady on the channel who's probably been mentoring for a bunch of years, and again, I'm gonna let her tell it. Uh, but hopefully, uh, doing these uh, videos will encourage people to become mentors, to encourage single parents to seek mentors for their sons and daughters, and to uh, maybe get a little feeling of how uh, more of us can do it to help somebody who uh, needs help and a younger person in general. So would you come on and tell us your name and the organization and what mentoring is, so on and so forth. Well, hi there. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm Janine Gant and I'm the president and CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters of Metropolitan Detroit. All right. Uh, how long have you been doing it? Um, I've been in this role for about seven years now. Oh, is that right? Oh, yes. excellent. What, 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 what is mentoring? Oh, wow. What is mentoring? That's a great question. Um, mentoring to me is um, pouring in wisdom, information, love, resources, um, a, a friendship to uh, a, another person. Um, in our case, it's to a younger person at Big Brothers Big Sisters. We serve young people um, between the ages of seven to 17 years old. Um, both male and female, we call them little brothers and little sisters, um, and we connect them with um, an adult um, who has been screened and well-trained and has committed to providing uh, time um, with, with a, a young person in the community. Uh, what, what, what do you do on a normal day in your capacity? Uh... Ooh. In, you know, in my capacity, <laughs> give us an idea. So in, in my personal capacity as the chief executive officer of the organization, I wear so many hats, right? Um, one of the biggest things that I do at Big Brothers Big Sisters um, is to raise money and resources for the organization. Um, we truly can't do our work without money. I often say no money, no mission. Um, it costs money to be able to make sure that young people are in safe relationships um, where mentors have been screened and background checked and fingerprinted in some cases and FBI checked because we're putting a, an adult in the life of a, of a young person. Um, and many of the young people we serve are vulnerable kids coming from marginalized communities. Um, and as you said, many of them are coming from single family households, um, under-resourced homes, low achieving schools. They may have an incarcerated parent um, or a parent that has died and they need a little bit of extra support. Um, so raising money is, is something really um, an important part of my job. Sure. Um, I think the, the next thing is really um, uh, being out in the community and talking to people about our work and recruiting mentors, um, going to all different kinds of places and having conversations with people um, about how they can step up and help to support um, our young people. Um, and then really there's the business of just operating the organization, right? I mean, Big Brothers Big Sisters has um, actually been around in the community since the 1930s as an organization, um, as a movement, if you will, it was called Big Brothers at the time. Um, and uh, 1974, it became Big Brothers Big Sisters of Metropolitan Detroit, where it merged with three other Big Brothers Big Sisters in Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb County, and then became uh, the Metro Detroit affiliate of the National Office of Big Brothers Big Sisters um, of America. Um, and so, um, you know, governing that, uh, running that, um, making sure that we are um, accountable to um, the funds that we raise. Um, accountable to the parents that entrust their children in us, okay. um, and also accountable for making sure that our mentors have the support that they need, training, resources, um, so that they can turn around and pour that love and care and concern into the life of a young person. Do you all uh, get, first of all, how do you get the mentees? Is it some parent walks in and said, I heard about you, 
or is it I put on an event where I, I go out and I see kids that are in trouble, uh, relationships a, with schools? Yeah, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit That's about that. That's a great that. question. How You know, Big Brothers Big Sisters, I think, is very fortunate because we have been around for such a very long time. Um, people know Big Brothers Big Sisters. Um, it's very rare that I go out in the community and tell people what I do that I don't hear, oh, I used to be a little little brother or little sister, or, or I used to be a big brother or a big sister. I used to be a mentor. Or when my dad was in college, he mentored a young person. So we hear that all the time. Um, and so families come to us. Like we actually get phone calls every day, all day from parents, caregivers, schools, um, uh, Department of Health and Human Service workers, um, probation officers saying, hey, I've got a young person that could really use some additional support. Um, can we get them enrolled in your program? Um, and we enroll them in our program. Um, we do an assessment. Um, we do an interview with the family, an interview with the young person. We talk about their goals and their dreams and their visions and their challenges and some of their obstacles um, and, and put together um, a strategy to help find them a, a big brother, a big sister that is willing to, again, devote a year with them, um, sure. four hours a month. Um, but yeah, we just get phone calls from folks. We actually do not have to go out and do a whole lot of recruiting for young people. Um, in fact, we have a waiting list of young people. Uh, we probably have about 100 kids on our list now um, that we're bringing into our, our, what I call our pipeline so that we can get them enrolled in our program. But we get phone calls every day from young people. The, the, the flip family. side of the question is, how do you get the mentors? Now, now there you go. Now, that's, that's the hard one. Um, but again, because Big Brothers Big Sisters um, has been a well-recognized mentoring organization, we also get inquiries from um, potential volunteers every day. Um, they come through our website at, at bbbsdetroit.org. Um, and sometimes we do in intentional recruitment activities. In fact, um, we're looking to do one uh, in May for Black men in particular. So um, that's probably been our biggest challenge is really identifying mentors of color that are willing to step up and help support our young people. Um, and there tends to be the need for more intentional recruitment um, in that space. And so I'm working with one of our board members um, and another one of our volunteers, two black men to say, hey, let's pull together some kind of event, invite all the beautiful black men that you know to come and learn about the young people that we serve and how they can get involved um, and, and be a role model um, for our young people. That's really critically sure. important that they see role models that look like them, um, that are out in the community, that are civic minded, that are um, um, working business leaders um, and, and so forth. So we're looking for those uh, role models to step up and support Big Brothers Big Sisters as well. Uh, just off the cuff, uh, how many more mentors would you like to have in the next two weeks Woo. compared um, to the number of mentees that are, that are on your roster that you don't have a mentor for? You know what? That's a great question. So, you know, it's a process. So, 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 so to be real, to come to our program, to be a big brother or big sister, it's a bit of a process. Um, and as I mentioned, we want to make sure that our young people are safe. So, yeah, sure. you know, we do background checks, we do reference checks. There's a process. You need to be trained. Sure. You need to understand the background of our young people. Um, you know, we do diversity, equity, and inclusion training. We do trauma-informed training. You know, it's important for, for mentors to understand what they're stepping into. And so to be honest with you, for every five mentors, people that come in and say, hey, I want to be a mentor, I might get one that will actually continue through the full process. So you ask me, how many do I need? If you want to send me, you send me 200 mentors in the next two weeks, 200 men in the next two weeks, um, that will help us move a bunch of our kids off the waiting list, which would be phenomenal. Um, and to be honest with you, we're really looking for mentors that are in the Detroit area. Um, and that's another big problem. We have a lot of people who volunteer, but they're coming from um, Macomb County or Oakland County. And the kids we serve, a lot of them are in the city of Detroit. Yeah, so sure. it's really nice to see city of Detroit folks step up, right? Sure. Um, to come and help support our young people. Um, what, what, what that said, um, you said that there's a process. What, what, what's the good feeling that a, 
that a mentor gets out of this uh, from oh. you know your perspective. Yeah. And, and I suspect as you you mentor yourself, what how, how does that feel? What yeah, why why do we you know, you know? You know what? I tell you, there is no greater feeling um than knowing that you've been able to impact the life of someone who um needs some support. Um, I've been a big sister myself in the Big Brothers Big Sisters program twice now. And um, I love it. My big sister, my little sister was, she motivated me. You know, when I was feeling um, overwhelmed with work and stress and all that kind of stuff, she would say, hey, big sister, how you doing? Are we going out? Do you want to go do something? And I would say, yes, thank you. Take me away. Let's go yeah, get out in the community and go do some stuff so I can pour some love into you. And I can talk about how beautiful you are. We can talk about your dreams and your visions because that makes me feel so good. It is really an opportunity selfishly where I feel uplifted. And what has probably, uh, and you, you've alluded to it already, but what is probably one of the comments that a mentee had, your mentee or not even yours, but that you've heard a mentee say to a mentor. You know, there was a young man, um, we were doing an interview with a, a big brother and a little brother for a promotional video that we were doing. And, um, you know, we asked the big brother, what do you think about your little brother? And he said, you know, he's the best kid. He's super smart. Um, he's, he's, uh, he's really gonna go places in his life. And the little brother just kind of looked at him and started crying. He said, and he said, no one has ever said that to me before. Um, I heard another young man say, it's the first time that he felt like he had family. So whatever was going on in his life, whatever disconnection this young man had, he wasn't feeling connected um, in his spaces that he was in. And it wasn't until a mentor came in that really helped him to feel that sense of belonging and that trickles down right that trickles yeah. into the relationships that that young person has with yeah. family and friends and yeah. teachers at school you know when you feel like you belong you feel like someone cares about you you feel like you matter then you think yeah maybe I want to dream about the future maybe it does make sense for me to go to school and get good grades uh, I, I guess my, my last question is this let's say that I uh, someone um in the community does not get involved as a mentor to a big brothers or any of the other organizations, but they do it in their own right. But is there an added advantage to coming up under the auspices of an organization yes. like yours than them yes. just saying, Hey, I got a guy mm -hmm. that he comes by the house that, you know, there's yeah. nothing formal, but yeah, yeah when yeah, he does, yeah, yeah. I talk to him in such a way that makes someone say, okay, that's good. And we're not saying that's not. But if you come under our, what we do, we add a little more structure or give you training yes. or any of those yes. kind of things. Yeah. Yes, thank you for that. So absolutely, there are things called natural mentors. Um, one of the great things about coming under a program like a Big Brothers Big Sisters in terms of mentoring, um, especially for a parent to do, is because you know we have background checks. Yeah, we have sure. screened, we have trained these folks to be able to be um, a, a healthy presence in your child's life. So I think that's important. But it's also the same thing for the big. Um, training is fantastic. Um, we do, uh, 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 again, trauma-informed training. We do training on how to deal with 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds, kids who are in foster care. You know, whatever kind of issues a young person might have, we're there to support you. We do what's called match support. So once you're matched with a young person, we're there until that kid turns 17 years old or 18 years old and you all are still together. We're calling you up once a month. How you doing? What's happening? You need some support? What's going on? They have our phone number. They can call us. Kids have challenges and issues. And sometimes we need to have a conversation with someone to say, okay, look, this is what's going on. This is what happened. What's the best way for me to approach it? Can you give me some advice? And so we're here as an organization to be able to provide that kind of support for um, our mentors, um, which is great. In addition, we always get free Detroit Lions tickets. We get Red Wings tickets. We get you. Pistons tickets. Kids go you. to the 
the, the museum, we get activities every month. So you don't have to make up stuff to do, right? We're like, those are the kind of things that we do to make mentoring easy for you. you know? What's the website? What's the first step that both sides do? They, they call you, they come to yes. the website, whatever. Ideally go to the website. We're at bbbsdetroit.org. Okay. And when you go to the website, you'll see, I want to enroll my child or I want to become a volunteer, Okay. you know, and to select which portal you want to go into, click on that. There's an application form right online um, that gets submitted to us. We follow up with you, bring you in for an orientation um, so that you can learn about um, the, the responsibilities of being a mentor. You know, we go through training and all that kind of stuff for you. And the same thing with the families. Let me say this. This is not to say that parents aren't doing. Right. But in reality, it takes a village. 